welcome back to Voxvote. We will show you some uh, possibilities, new features in Voxvote where you can upload your images. This is an example. Um, here you can scroll through all your uh, questions. You can uh, see uh, images like this. If I log in on uh, a mobile device, you can push the images towards the uh, user. I can do a vote, of course. And here comes in my uh, first vote. Of course, this is the wrong answer. Let me see how we uh, do that. We have the possibility uh, to push the image towards the uh, client, or we have the ability to uh, keep the question inside uh, the main screen. So you don't have to send uh, to your audience with 500 persons the image to the local device. So by default, the images are not visible. But you can uh, uh, send them to your, uh, yeah, to your audience. For example, this is San Francisco, and from eight seven users, we have now uh, eight users. This is the correct answer. How did we do that? Here we have some uh, options. We go to the editor, and let's create one uh, new question where we. Uh, this is the overview. Here you have an indicator which images are sent to the uh, user and which not. Let's make a new question. It's our fifth uh, question and let's make a question about how do you call an image like this. So we have a special image there. We will do an um, animated GIF. So I already spoiled the answer. I can choose if my image uh, will show on the left or the right of the uh, screen. I can do it with this. And here the default is set to be hidden for the audience devices. So we keep it the defaults. It's a GIF. It's an animated GIF. It's a movie. It's a JPEG. And suppose we make a quiz, we'll uh, make this the correct answer, and if the persons vote for this one, it's the correct answer. Questions are updated. And let's make another uh, question, quick question. From which artist is this iconic, iconic soup? And I must admit, I don't exactly know, but it is just for an Mr. Campbell and the Warhol. Just for the purpose of an explanation. I go to the preview mode to test my questions. Of course, I can go uh, live, but then uh, I will have my audience with uh, not a blank result screen. So I'll do the uh, testing in preview. Extra warning that we are in preview mode. Here we can see all the new questions we did. Uh, how do you call an image like this? I can send it to my audience. It's an animated GIF. And there we have the refresh answer. I now click with my mouse with all keyboard controls where we can R for refresh, stop, go next. Also the arrow keys will work, full screen usage. We can also toggle the chart results. So if you don't want to see the, uh, the, the chart results, but you do want to see the number of votes, you can toggle, I press now the letter C, and uh, there the, are the results. I can navigate with my questions towards the uh, with the arrows. I can see the eight users. I press the C for the chart. It's not uh, visible, but still I can uh, vote. And in preview mode, I can uh, start. We vote another time because we are in preview mode. In live mode, you can vote only once per question. 
Now we have nine users. I press the R from refresh. We have a ninth user, but no chart yet, because if you want to show the chart results already, it might influence, you get biased responses from your audience. So with C, you can uh, toggle them and see everything. If you uh, want to select a screen, uh, you have some other options for tuning the screen. You can uh, hide the, um, the, the header above. Also, if you want don't want to see the logo, you have the ability to toggle the logo. And now you have all your information ready. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, uh, you can uh, try it yourself. Make an account on www.foxfo.com. Five events are free. And there are some paid features. And this is actually a paid uh, feature. Quiz results. Which user has the most answers correct? We didn't put in a name, but there's a person with uh, two correct answers. Thanks for watching.